critical minimum effort theory given by Harvey Levenstein. As we know, our populated and underdeveloped countries are stuck in vicious cycle of poverty. Solution of this problem, critical minimum efforts. That means certain minimum level of initial investment is must to achieve sustained economic growth in underdeveloped countries. Investment less than critical minimum is not able to achieve sustained economic growth. Shocks are those forces which reduce output, employment, income, investment. For example, old technology, overpopulated uh, country, lack of human skill, lack of infrastructure. Stimulant are those forces which increase output, investment, income, employment. For example, advanced uh, technology, proper infrastructure, human skill. Investment less than critical minimum will not give uh, sustained growth, but investment equal to critical minimum will definitely uh, give uh, sustained uh, growth. Per capita income or you can say the induced income growth, income raising and depressing force that means uh, shocks and uh, stimulant, shocks uh, income depressing force, stimulant income raising uh, force. This 45 degree line shows balanced economic growth. This green curve shows stimulant. This blue curve shows shocks. Initially, our equilibrium point E. Now, suppose we do investment which is less than a minimum critical. As a result, our per capita income increase LOA. But Shocks are more than stimulant. That means income depressing force are more as compared to income raising force. Here you can see our uh, shocks are uh, FB but stimulant are only FA. That means uh, shocks are more than stimulant. That's why economy will move backward from A to B, B to B1, B1 to B2. Eventually economy again come at this lower equilibrium point E because investment was less than critical minimum. Now suppose we do investment which is exactly equal to critical minimum level. As a result our income increase up to HT level. After T point, you can see our economy going forward. Economy is not coming backward after T point. Economy is moving forward because our investment is equal to critical minimum level. And after T point, you can also see shocks are reducing but stimulant are increasing. So we can say that investment equal to critical minimum level achieves sustained growth. 